Hey guys, Dr. Emmanuel here again. You might have heard about polycystic ovary syndrome. Some people call it polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. So what's PCOS? So PCOS is a complex condition that affects women and is characterized by various factors like irregular menses, excess male hormones that typically presents with features like, you know, the lady being prone to having acne, having what we call hirsutism, so excessive body hairs, and uh, typically the ovaries, which are the female egg glands, contain lots of ovarian cysts. Now, having polycystic ovary increases the risk of a person have developing certain conditions like insulin resistance and diabetes, obesity, high levels of blood cholesterol, as well as some difficulties in conception. So infertility or subfertility could be a problem in people who have polycystic ovaries. It can of course increase the risk of mental health challenges, depression, anxiety, illness, anxiety. A lot of people could become very anxious when they know that they have this uh, condition. Polycystic ovary syndrome has also been shown to increase the risk of a person developing endometrial cancer. And this is not to scare you if you have this condition, if you suspect you might have this condition, but this is to urge you to seek medical help. Because to be honest, polycystic ovary syndrome can be very much well managed by the clinician, by a doctor. In terms of why a person develops polycystic ovary, or polycystic ovary syndrome, it's really not entirely clear as to why people develop this. It's believed to be a combination of genetic predisposition, hormonal changes, lifestyle factors, you know, like sedentary lifestyle. But to be honest, I think it's, um, you know, it's more to do with the first two, genetic and hormonal uh, imbalances. Exposure to excess male hormones is something that typically is found in, in polycystic ovary syndrome. So testosterone, uh, dye, epiandosterone, other male hormones uh, are typically elevated in this condition. So when someone suspects or when a doctor suspects that an individual, a lady might have polycystic ovary syndrome, what do we typically do? How do we typically go about making that diagnosis? We well, first of all, get a history from, from the person get the story you know what are their challenges what have they had and what's their problem so typically they might be presenting with you know menstrual changes heavy periods or, or prolonged interval between their menses uh, they might be having troubles with conception so infertility or subfertility it might be troubles with acne you know really severe recalcitrant forms of acne um, so and it could be a, it could be a, it could be a complex presentation as well so we'll take this, all of this history, we'll examine, do a physical examination, uh, we might be doing some blood tests, so checking, checking things like, you know, some, some female hormone levels, FSH, LH, uh, testosterone levels, um, you know, what we call free androgen index, we might do all of these, as well as requesting an ultrasound scan of your belly to look at your to look at your ovaries. If you look at this photo here, this is an ultrasound, you can see these multiple dark blackish areas those are cysts. So we'll be looking, typically looking for multiple cysts in the ovaries, in one or both ovaries. We've talked about the clinical presentation, but we need to, I can reiterate that. So polycystic ovary can present differently in different in each individual and making that makes the diagnosis and management, you know, tailored to every person's unique needs. The evaluation process involves assessing the menstrual, assessing for menstrual irregularities, signs of excess body, you know, male hormones, acne, hirsutism, as I've said earlier. Uh, they could have depression, anxiety uh, because of because of the condition. So, how do we manage polycystic ovary syndrome? How is it managed? Lifestyle changes, exercise, healthy diets are very paramount in managing this condition. Um, so these will also help, this will help in ensuring that, um, you know, there's proper weight management, insulin resistance and diabetes are better controlled or better managed. 
We might also begin to consider medications, so what we call pharmacological options, use of contraception to regularize the menstrual, the menstrual periods. We might use anti-androgens because typically there is excess androgen, so we might use medications that counter and help to reduce the impact or, or the effect of testosterone. We might also need to use other medications that might help to improve fertility. So medications like metformin, which is a, which is a, which is a diabetic medication, anti-diabetic medication, and even clomiphene, which is a medication that can help to improve or increase the risk of ovulation in ladies who might struggle with conception. Treatment plans should be personalized, which means targeted to an individual's needs or, 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 or clinical problems based on whether the individual is seeking fertility or whether the major problem is um, you know irregular irregular periods uh, whether the major problem is excessive hair hirsutism or, or, or recalcitrant acne so based on the predominant uh, problem we'll need to be addressing the major issues regular monitoring of blood pressure body weight uh, metabolic metabolic status is essential to manage individuals uh, the individual's cardiovascular risk and prevent long-term complications like you know developing type 2 diabetes management of polycystic ovary syndrome as well as management of most medical conditions entails this holistic approach and if you look at this photo so holistic simply means you're looking at the individual as an as a complete person their physical their emotional their spiritual their intellectual or mental self so you, you don't just manage the ovaries it's essentially you're managing the individual if they're having depression and anxiety you might need to be considering you know cbt talking therapy as well so managing pcos requires a holistic approach including regular follow-up appointments ongoing lifestyle modifications open communication with healthcare providers to address evolving needs and concerns so we've come to the end of this session if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please and please subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so you'll get notified when i release other videos thanks for your audience